is it. This is where the big ones, the big ones are hanging. I'm gonna feed them another one. They might not be hungry, who knows. Oh, big bass! Oh my God, Wait. it's a huge bass! Dude, what? <laughs> what in the world? Did he it's, chase it? it's trying to get my bluegill that's yeah. in the grass. Look, look he's, oh, ch he's chasing he's it. He's chasing him. Dude, he's trying to get it. He's trying to get it out of the grass. Oh, is that him or is that you? That's me moving it there, but he, he's going to grab it as soon as it gets free. I'm watching. Watch it. Oh, my God. Oh, it's oh a big my God. Oh, my gosh. It's a big one. <laughs> you smell that? It smells like the life cycle. The food chain, the food fishing chain. challenge, life cycle. What are we doing today, man? We are going to experience the cascade of wildlife, the steps of small things turning into bigger things, hopefully today. We're gonna to start small, trying to catch some bugs, then gonna catch some bluegill species, and then hopefully catch a monster bass. Oh, this feels heavy now. This feels heavy now. Oh, that's a bass. That is the goal. So we've got all those things around us. We just need to get to searching. You've got some sort of- Hey, grass up one. Ah! Oh. Yeah, I don't think you got that one. <laughs> I missed him. I False think you, alarm. I think you went a little strong on that one. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> we can actually hear bluegill right now around these lily pads. We have a, a lake that's full of lily pads. And if it's really calm like it is right now, you can start to hear those little... And that is the bluegill eating bugs off of the pads and the surrounding grasses and things like that. So it's perfect opportunity. The winds have calmed down. I feel the mondos. We just gotta get some bugs, man. Step one, when you're hunting down bugs, you gotta think like a bug. If I was a grasshopper or a cricket, where would I wanna be? I wanna be in that green stuff right over here. The unfortunate thing is that the uh, water moccasins and copperhead rattlesnakes, they're also over here. Literally, somebody just killed a water moccasin 30 minutes ago here. Shot it with a, uh, he killed it. So they're definitely here. Um, there's also a lot of rattlesnakes here, we've been told, so. I see, a, I see one. You see what? Right here, I got see it. what, a bug or a snake? A bug. Okay. Gotta be quick. Ha! That's a really handy net, Mike. Did you get him? I'm not sure if I got him or not. He was. Oh, I got him. I see him. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh. See another one. Uh, he's in the net. He's camouflaging perfectly with his environment right now. I see him. Got him. Perfect little bluegill treat. We're gonna take off the legs so he can't go anywhere. And you pinch the leg joint. They pop right off. It's a defense mechanism. You got one, Mike. You got one? Yes. All right. Got two hoppers. It's time for the next step in I the think, uh, yeah. circle of life. I think this is going to do it. We'll what do you got? Okay. I got a mildly bigger grasshopper, but it's going to be okay. I'm scared Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look. Dude, it might hop away. Oh, yeah. You got him squished in there. Yeah, let me get off. Let's get the legs off here for you. You're a pro. You're like a entomologist. <laughs> yeah, that's a good you know, the name for it. Oh, that's a big leg. All right, you can open up. He, he lost the leg. Are He's you sure? Positive. He ain't going anywhere. Look at those tasty morsels. You ready? Beat. Chomp. So the crazy thing is, we know for a fact, we were bass fishing here earlier, oh and we were catching bass that had these big bluegill down their throats. Like literally three fish in a row had these big bluegills. Their tails were sticking out of the big bass's mouths. It's beautiful. They're just up there in the shallow lily pad, just bunching. So we know for a fact they're eating bluegill. So theoretically, if we get a bluegill on a bobber setup or something and set it up in the shallows, big mama could take off with it. Like truly there's some big bass in here. Seven, eight, nine pounders. So that is the hope. We're starting small, working our way up. He's freaking out, dude. Oh, something's kit. He's, he's, get, he's getting eaten. He's getting eaten. Hi right, guys, here's the deal. LFG and I are gonna have a little competition on this food chain fishing challenge. We got the bait right here in this little cricket container. Some juicy grasshoppers. 
Now what we got are some spinning rods, some floats, and some little tiny hooks. Gonna see who can catch the first bluegill, throw that on a big hook, and then who's gonna catch the big Sally out of here? Gonna be the winner. Here's the thing. This is a competition, all right? It's not gonna matter on the first fish. It matters on the last fish, which is the bass. However, I feel fully prepared to catch anything. I even brought my special cricket hooks for this moment. And, Mike, I don't think you've even won a challenge yet since you've been back. So I'm certainly so. not gonna let this be the day. <laughs> That's right. Commotion back here is uh, you know, one of our one of our producers over here, Mr. Wesley Davis. He's uh, He's trying to get some underwater shots of fish. Uh, we didn't tell him there's a 16 foot gator that's been living in here since 1918. But um, yeah, we'll show him some pictures later. That is a bluegill smasher right there. All right, Mike, give me one of those things. Are they in here? Right there, they're in there. Take your pick. All right. This I'd is... go for the big one. I'd go for the big one. No, nah, that big one's a last resort situation. Okay, I'm gonna put it on, I believe this is a size one. Cricket hook. I'm gonna go in through the abdomen, come out through the top exoskeleton towards the head. Because everyone knows bluegill like to munch on the head regions. So problem is problem is getting this. Hey, hey man! <laughs> Body foul. What are you doing? <laughs> Here we go. Competition begins now. Oh! I got him! He got one! Got the gill! Oh shit! Boom! In the boat! First part done. What do you think about that, Mike? I think you're off to another great start for the challenge. That's what I think. I might just go for another one. <laughs> another just, gill? Yeah, just Why in case not? I need, you know, backups True. after I catch that eight pounder. Oh, they're popping my bobber. <laughs> oh, oh, got wait. him! Oh, yeah! Wait, you got two Doubled already? up, hey! Look at number one. two. Hey, Mike, what's up? I, need, I haven't got a bite yet. <laughs> You are a cricket master. Man, guys, it's been tough. I think this is competition number four for me. Right now I'm at uh, zero wins. And this one's not looking too good, but I'm gonna see what I can do here. You are, Justin over here is just smacking down the bluegills. I've yet to get a bite. Barely cast this thing. Oh, got him. Oh, this might be oh, the one. Oh, that might be the one. No, it's, it's too big. It's big. It's, it's definitely sizable. The other fish we were catching were eating bluegill this size. So, Mike, I just want you to know that's three. <laughs> Zero. In a short time span. I, I lost my grasshopper, so now I gotta go into my backup grasshopper, the big Mondo. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> we got, we got a, I need some big hooks. I got big hooks. You have big hooks? Like have big actual hooks. good hooks? I don't know the actual good hooks. What's an actual big hook you got? I mean, what are you talking about here? Catfish hooks? Oh yeah, dude, you got the big ones. Catfish hooks. Oh yeah, you found them? Yeah, Ready. I got some good stuff in there. All right, you. I'm gonna steal your hooks. Mm, that's pretty big there. Huh? Game over! Oh, this is the money, this is the money gill. All right. It's pretty big. We're both rigging up for bass now. Whoever catches the next fish, it's gonna be the winner. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get one of our gills out. Pair it. They're feisty. Biggest live well I've ever seen. Oh, this is gonna be a two hand operation here. Oh, yeah. This is the one. This is the tasty cake, McGee, right here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go through the, uh, the back dorsal. I'm gonna give this guy a full range of swimming motion. Here we go. It's ready. Woo! Get ready for a big bass on it. Oh baby. Who's been who's more excited right now? Me or this fish? We fishing here, we're going to the deep hole, dude. I don't know, man. This looks great. Looks great. Look at this. Look at this runner I've got going on. I've got the uh, classic little chartreuse black He's circle bobber. Bobbers down. I don't have a circle hook, I got whatever that hook is called right there. But we got a big fish. My bobbers are going down. Where I'm going in there too. Woo! Drag loose. 
Head down to the deeps. Struggling. We are currently both at the final stage of the food chain fishing challenge. I'm trying to get my first dub. Little Mr. Bluegill over there swimming around. Just need a big mama bass come up to slurp him. Mine's still alive. He's still alive. We're gonna need a bigger bobber. Oh, oh, it's going down. We big got time. one? Oh, it was down. Oh, it was under, under. Oh, he's freaking out. He's, he's, he's freaking out, dude. Oh, something's kidding. He's, he's, get, he's getting eaten. He's getting eaten. He's getting eaten. I'm gonna let him take it. Oh, no! Wait, did he have it? Yeah, Bass had it, dude. He's running with him. Oh, gotta get back in that area. It's going off. Mm-hmm. Oops. He's either running with it or something's got it. He is underwater completely. Completely underwater. Oh, dude, something ate me. <laughs> something ate it off. He had me. He took my, he took it. He had it. I gotta get back out there. This is it. This is where the biggins, the biggins are hanging. I'm gonna feed him another one. He might not be hungry. Who knows? We could get the absolute biggest fish in here doing Easily. this. Easily. Oh, this is the perfect time to get it. Oh, he's in the grass. Gotta bring him back up to the surface. Wow, he's running and gunning here. Oh, this feels heavy now. This feels heavy now. Oh, oh. That's a bass. That's a bass? I got him. I got a bass. Is it big? I got a bass. How big are we talking, dude? Dude, I don't know, he's in the grass. Oh, oh my God. Is... Come here, baby. Oh, it's a nice one. Come on, That's baby. Oh, yeah, it's baby. Oh, it's oh, a big one. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh, it's a big <laughs> Dude, it's a tank. Oh, I got him on my spinning rod. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's a nice one. Okay, I gotta land him. Woo! Oh my gosh. Got him. Jeez, that's a freaking monster. <laughs> that's the biggest fish of the day. Oh, look how fat he is. Oh, this is an absolute mega fatty. He's barely hooked. No, no, no. No. Oh, he's barely hooked. Grab oh, no. him. Grab oh, no, him. I'm trying. Grab him. Mike, I got a tiny rod. <laughs> Give me your face. Yeah! Let's go! Yeah! Barely hooked to the top of the mouth. Oh, oh, he's hooked better than I thought. Okay, <laughs> you were safe. Circle hook, absolute fatty. Let's go! Look at that thing! Oh my gosh, slurped a bluegill. Woo, Mike! <laughs> Another dub, man. Hey, do you want to wait on that thing? That thing's a nice one. You want to wait on that? I think it's at least a fiver. At least a fiver. It's a beauty. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to get back out there with a the blue hill though. Hey, There's some right giants there. in here. Holy cow. Amazing. Hey, why, why, I mean, why is this for a couple more minutes? Pulling up my bluegill, my rod broke in half. This is the epitome of my day right here. Everything just not clicking, not clicking for me today. I mean, this is a big bluegill here. He's just, he's just going for it. Hi, Brian. Let me show you. Oh, oh, big one, oh, big one. Oh. Bass got it. No, dude, a bass hit the bobber. I hit the bobber? Hit the bobber. Oh, big bass. Oh my God, it's a huge bass. Dude, what? <laughs> what in the world? Did it's he chase it? It's trying to get my bluegill that's yeah. in the grass. Look, look he's, oh, ch he's chasing he's it. He's chasing him. Dude, he's trying to get it. He's trying to get it out of the grass. Oh, is that him or is that you? That's me moving it there, but he, he's going to grab it as soon as it gets free. I'm watching. Watch it. Oh, my he God. Just he just got eaten. He just got eaten. Was that him? Watch. He's about to okay. get eaten. He, uh, this is dude, insane. Dude, he's like trying to eat this bluegill right here. Was that bass too small, you think? Or? Uh, maybe. That's cool, though. Three or four pounder. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's he's, he's on him again. Him. Oh, he's on him again. I, I think your bluegill's, yeah, your bluegill's perfect. 
It's just too small, maybe. Yeah, the bass must be too small. He's just trying. Yeah. Got a little fly rod. Oh, oh, I got, I got one. Bass? I got one on the back. I got him on the broker. <laughs> he broke me off! Oh, he did it! No, oh my gosh, no, he did! He broke you off! Oh my god, it's a big boil. Oh my god, Mike! What happened, dude? Did it, did it, where did it break? It broke the line because I got no rod to absorb the impact! <laughs> uh, Mike, I don't know what you ate, what you did, what is going on in the universe, but... Somebody please hit the like button so it'll transfer some energy into this man's soul. It might be time to hang it up, Mike. Yeah. Just, just, you know, I, I know it's, right. been, it's been a rough day. <laughs> Been a rough day. We want to catch a bigger bass, but I, th I think you just need to tie on some top water gear. Get yep. yourself a blooper on or a hound. One of our new baits we just launched. They're starting to hit the tops. And just go catch some fish. I think that's going to redeem your soul. I think that's a good call, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, the next video things go a little better for me. See ya.